welcome to another video. This is Crafty Rhea and I am going to be recycling some Christmas cards today. I took two out of my stash that kind of had a similar shape to them. We have the Santa here with this gold rectangle and then this really pretty card with the same type of a, a shape with the indented corners. And this one here is gorgeous. It is already, a lot of the work's already done for me. It's already raised up on some foam dots and it has this really pretty background paper. So I'm not really going to have to do much to it. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and start with the easy one first. Like I said, this one here already has a really pretty background paper and the focal image is already up on pop dots. So I'm going to leave most of this card intact. For both of these cards, I'm using five by seven card bases that I have already pre-made. I bought a whole bunch of them when Pat Catans was going out of business. So I realized this fits pretty much right on to the 5x7. I only have to trim off a little bit on each edge. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim this down so it fits on this background with just a tiny bit of blue border. Out of the cards that I have, I thought the blue went well because of the background in um, the picture. So I will get my handy dandy little paper trimmer and I will obviously, as I always do, cut the front of the card off. And while I have it out, I will cut the sentiment out. I do want to say that for my last two giveaways, both of the um, winners did contact me and I will be getting your prize out to you. So I'm happy about that. I know you've probably seen my many videos begging people to contact me. Well, they did, so that's good. All right, so I do want to cut this so it is just a tad smaller than five inches this way. I will cut a piece off the bottom. Just a little tiny sliver. Let's see how that looks when I hold it up to the card. That's good. And then I will cut in evenly on each edge so the picture stays centered. or as evenly as I can. Okay, it's still too long. Of course, I'm not measuring. Cut a little bit off this edge. So when you have Christmas cards that are already really pretty, you don't have to do a lot to them to make a new card out of them. Whoever receives it, will, I'm sure, will love it anyway and it looks just as if I put a whole bunch of work into it. I'm going to take just a sliver off the top just so a little more of that blue shows so it's even all the way around. There we go and let's see how that looks. I think that's going to be perfect. Excellent. Get my art glitter glue. Okay. 
And then I'll just center this onto the card base. And that card is just about done. You could leave it alone if you wanted to. But, you know me, I don't ever stop there. I have my bling box, and I'm going to put some bling along the edge of the Christmas house to make it look at, like it has some Christmas lights. And I have just the bling for it. I have these little tiny pieces of bling with multicolors. I got these from AliExpress and they are on an adhesive strand. So they stay in one strand and they're adhesive. So I'm just going to go right along the edge. You've probably seen me do this very same thing to some other cards and I love the way it turns out. I absolutely love this colorful bling. I don't know if you heard my bird. He just said Rhea. It is 10 o'clock at night and he says, Rhea, go to bed. Usually right about 10 o'clock every night. There we go. So we have some Christmas lights on the house. I love it. I think that came out really, really cute. So that's really all I'm going to do with that card. Just leave it as is. And I will mat this and put it inside. I have this blue paper that sort of matches the front of the card and I thought it would be okay to mat that on it. Move my bling box out of the way. So to get out of having to measure, I'm going to stick this on the blue background to begin with. And then I will cut it out. And then I just eyeball the edges. My bird's impressed. I hope everybody is having a good week. Please let me know in the comments what you've been doing, if your kids are home from school, and what you've been doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm still working full time. I work from home. So I still, and right now it's a very busy time for me. But I still want to make sure I get on here and make some videos for you guys. I've had a lot of wonderful comments lately and, and emails, and I appreciate all of them so much. So here is this first card. There we go. It's a great way to get stocked up for Christmas. And now my second card. So I decided I would use this green background since it has some green in the card. And I wanted to cut this out and make it stand up. And I got this background paper out of my stash because you know I want to use up some of my stash. And I thought it went well with the green of the card and then the colors of this card. So I thought it would be kind of neat. So what I'm going to do first is cut off the front of the card. And then I'm going to cut out the sentiment.
All right, and I'll set that aside. And then I'm going to trim this down. So I want to cut it out right on the, maybe with just a tiny border of red, right on the outside of the gold. I'll try to stay as close to the gold as I can. And I want to reuse this piece here. So I want to cut that piece off first. So I have that piece and I'm going to reuse that on this card. So then I will cut this piece again trying to stay as close to that as I can and there's still I mean just a hair of red but that's okay and then I will do it on this side trying to line it up the best I can I think that's pretty good and then I'm gonna cut out this believe the same way because I'm going to use that as well trim off that extra little red border there. There we go. So that's cut out and then I have Believe cut out and I'm going to trim off those little red ends. There we go and set that aside. Some of these little pieces I can get rid of. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to carefully fussy cut those corners. If you have a hole punch that fits it, you could do the same thing. But I don't have one handy and I'm just going to just go in with my scissors like that. If you hold your scissor still and turn the paper, I think you get a cleaner cut. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing for the Believe. And if you start it back here on your scissors and just ever so slightly give it pressure as you're moving your paper you'll get an even cut rather than trying to cut like that. I learned that from Carol Duvall. Do you remember Carol Duvall? If you guys remember Carol Duvall, leave a comment below. I absolutely loved her show. She was my favorite crafty lady. Okay, so we have Santa and we have Believe cut out of that card. And then this larger piece. And instead of using a piece of ribbon or something like that for my stash, I'm going to use this as my ribbon. So I want to cut my background paper um, to go on my 5x7 um, card, but since it's a big 12x12 12 12 sheet of paper, I need to bring out a bigger paper trimmer. I'm going to cut it at just under five inches, which would be four and seven eighths. And then I'll turn it and cut it at six and seven eighths, which is just under the seven inch mark. So I have my background paper.
and that fits on there pretty good. And that's how it's going to look with this and with my ribbon. I really like the way that is. Okay. So for this, since this paper's thin, I'm going to use my adhesive. You could use art glitter glue if you want. On thinner paper, I just like to use the tape. Just to avoid any lines or any wrinkling. Make sure it's opening the right way. And since it's not real ribbon, I don't have to put it on the paper first because I don't have to tuck it behind. And then I'm going to raise this up on some foam tape. So I'll put a piece in each corner. And I'll put a piece in the middle just so it doesn't sink down. This is foam tape that I got at the Dollar Tree and it's about a sixteenth of an inch thick. which is great because it, it adds dimension, but yet it doesn't make your card too bulky to mail. If your card is too bulky, you have to put extra postage on it. There we go. We have Santa. And then I'm going to put this down there. I'll just run a piece of tape down it since it's nice and straight and easy. Then I'll take my scissors and trim off the excess. This way I didn't really waste any of that card. I was getting ready to use ribbon, but I decided I would use that instead. More recycling. And then I'll put a piece of foam tape on the back of this to raise it up a little bit. There we go. I really like how that turned out. Of course, I can add a little bit of bling. I think I want to add a couple red rhinestones where those two little dots are to make them just look kind of pretty. The little red ones. I might use a bigger red one. Let me see what I can find. Yeah, I think the bigger red ones will be good. These larger ones I got at the Dollar Tree. They have all kinds of colors and everything. They had the red, green, and gold out at Christmas time. So there's that, and they're on the adhesive strand as well.
There we go. A little bit of bling. And it has the really pretty gold foil edge. And a little bit of bling. So we have that card. Oh, I should put the sentiment on the inside. And since I have this scrap paper here, I'm just going to go ahead and do it on here. Let me see what looks best. I'm going to line it up, I think, like that. I like that a lot. Sometimes I like to use the design in the paper to determine how I'm going to line something up. That's neat how that fits exactly between those larger red lines. I didn't plan it that way. It's a happy accident, as Bob Ross would say. I'm mentioning all the famous people. Carol Duvall and Bob Ross. There we go. I think that came out neat. It adds a little interest to the sentiment rather than just a plain sentiment and it brings some of the pattern from the front of the card to the inside of the card. I'll just use some art glitter glue on this one. This paper um, was from a Christmas stack from Die Cuts with a View, in case you're wondering. I've had it for several years. And I decided I need to start using up some of my paper. Alrighty, so here we go. We have two cards that I made. Kind of the same shape of the focal image, but yet a little bit different. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you watched Carol Duvall or Bob Ross. I'd be interested to hear. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. And until the next video, you know what to do. Go get crafting. Bye-bye.